In this Tuesday tutorial, we will continue our sign project from last time. We'll go over connecting to the Denver machine and homing it, changing a tool in the machine and in the VR milling software, setting a work offset, and opening our file and sending it to the machine to cut the part out. Let's turn our machine on and get started. Now let's open the VR milling software by finding the Denford Applications folder on our desktop and double clicking the VR milling shortcut to open the software. Double click in the orange section of the splash screen to speed up the opening process. Once the software has opened, connect to the machine by clicking the bottom button on the right hand side. Next, click the XYZ button on the control panel to home the machine. This will send the machine to its machine home position, which in this machine is the back right corner. As the machine homes itself, you'll notice the outline around the X, Y, and Z buttons change from red to green. Once all three buttons are green, additional tabs will appear in the control panel. Let's move to the jog tab to learn how to jog the machine. We can move the machine around by using the arrow keys on the keyboard. The arrows indicate how the spindle will move relative to the table. The keyboard will only jog the machine if you are on the jog tab of the control panel. To move the spindle up and down, use the page up and page down buttons. Now we will load our billet into the machine. For this project, I have cut a 10 cm by 10 cm block of wood and spray painted it black. We'll load this into the self-centering fixture. Next. We will close the door, then click the Tools and Offset Editor button in the bottom left of VR Milling. Now on the Tooling Data tab, you'll notice that the quarter inch or 6.35 millimeter ball nose cutter in the tool number one slot is selected. Let's select tool number five, the V-Groove cutter, and click the Change Tool button. The machine will now move to the tool change position. Now let's open the door back up and grab one of our spanner wrenches to learn how to loosen the collet nut. Find the two flat spots on the spindle and turn them towards you so you can engage the wrench with the spindle. As you can see, this is the only way to engage the wrench. Now grab the other wrench by the other end and engage it with the collet nut by coming up from underneath. you will not be able to engage the wrench unless you come up from underneath. Turn the top wrench counterclockwise while turning the bottom wrench clockwise to loosen the collet nut. With practice, you'll learn to secure the tool as you loosen it with your index finger. Set the ball nose cutter aside, then insert the V cutter into the quick change bushing and tighten it down with the Allen wrench. To explain how the quick change tooling system works, we will completely remove the collet nut. The collet can be changed out by pressing the top of it while holding the collet nut. This will pop the collet loose from the nut. It can be reinserted by firmly pressing down on it until you feel it click. The quick change tooling works by inserting the tools into a bushing with a common diameter. The tools are tightened down in these bushings so that they cannot move. The bushing with the tool installed is then inserted into the collet as far as it can go until the head of the bushing hits the collet. This method guarantees that the tool will be inserted at the same location every time it's installed, allowing you to quickly change tools during jobs. Under normal circumstances, there is no need to completely remove the collet nut when changing tools. That was just done for the sake of this tutorial. Now let's finish installing our V-cutter and quickly check to ensure we have fully inserted it into the collet. and now we'll tighten down the collet nut to complete our tool change. Back in VR Milling, click OK to let the software know the tool change has been completed. We can now set up our work offsets for this job. A work offset is a set of coordinates relative to the machine's home position that tells the program where to start. As you can see, it is possible to have multiple work offsets in case you have multiple fixtures inside of the machine. If you are working with multiple work offsets, you can switch back and forth between them by selecting an offset and clicking Activate. 
It is very important to ensure you keep track of which offset is active. Giving offset to descriptive name can be helpful in this regard. Now that we have our Amtec sign offset active, we will need to jog the machine. There's an icon that will switch between green and red to notify you as to if jog is active. The control panel must have the focus for jog to be active. Let's now jog the machine over to our material. In the last tutorial, we set the datum position to the lower left corner of the job. This means we need to jog the tool to this location on the wood billet. We will jog the tool to the left edge of the part. Since the sign does not require extreme accuracy, we are just aligning it by eye. Once we reach what looks to be the left side, we will save the location in VR milling by clicking the X button. You'll notice that the X axis offset value has changed to match the machine's current X position. Changing to the program position will reveal zero for the program in X. Now let's repeat the process for the Y axis. Once we eye up the front edge of the part, we'll select the Y offset button in VR milling. For the Z axis, we will jog the machine out over the material, then slide a piece of paper under the tool. Next, tap page down to slowly move the tool down until it pinches the paper between the tool and the billet. Save this position as the Z offset. Before we run the part, let's verify that we set up the offset correctly. To do this, first home the machine. Then in VR milling, go to the MDI tab and type in X0, Y0, then hit enter and type in Z0. This causes the machine to move to the program home position for X and Y at the same time, then plunge to the program home position for Z. A built-in safety feature of Denford machines is the feed rate override knob on the front of the machine. You can use this knob to control the rate at which the machine moves. If the tool moves to the expected corner, we're ready to run the part. Let's go up to File and Open, then browse for our part file and click the Open button. Now click the Auto button to tell VR Milling to run the actual file. Click Stop, Rewind, and Play, then click Yes when prompted if you want to run the real machine and enjoy.